Simon's out cultivating. We finally had a couple of dry days and it's quite windy as well. Um, ooh, trailer's a bit bouncy. Stick you on there. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go get some seed. It's Sunday afternoon. I'm in the 155 auto power. Sunday the 7th of April. Bouncy, bouncy. Um, that's an air on the seat. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go get some sit, some barley seed, and then take that up to Farm Free, where I've just come from. This trailer rattles about a bit. Um, then I'm gonna go and put the drill on and get that ready for the morning. It's definitely rattling around more than it should be. Might quickly get out and have a look at that before I go on the road. Um, yeah, go get the drill, sort the seed out, get the drill ready. Grab this seed. And um, get ready for drilling in the morning. Oh, I can't actually remember what shed the barley seed is in. I'm hoping it's this one because this has got a uh, electric roller shutter door. So, And the other, there is seed in the other barn, but that's got a manual door, so... We are just about to find out. And this is... Oh great, it's that's oat seed. I'm pretty sure Isabel is oat. Yeah. I think we need Laureate barley seed. That means I'm gonna have to open the other barn. That's the stuff we need. Laureate, and it's in big bags too. Right, I'm gonna put a strap around that, and then take it back up to Farm Free. Guess we should probably take the bag lifter with us too. We can load the drill here with the pallet forks. I better put a strap around them just to be on the safe side. We haven't got to go far. Um, it's just along this track and up the road a little bit. And we'll be there. Looks all right out there. He's left the headland. Um, we'll drill the landwork and then he's going to pull up the headland so that we're not turning on the on the cultivated ground. I've put the seed in there, ready for tomorrow. I'm now in the Man Pro 155. We're going to get the drill. Never packed, did you lose? Okay, we're here. Um, it's been a cracking weekend for uh, drying. It's blowing, absolutely blowing the gale out there. That wheat's looking good now. That's, that's picked up that nitrogen already, what we put on there on, I can't remember what day it was, in the last video. Um, yeah, it, uh, so I've, the sprayer's on the 215, so I've decided I'd give the drill a go on the 155, rather than take the sprayer off. Because our forecast showers tomorrow afternoon, so if we suddenly get a load of showers tomorrow afternoon, I can just jump off this and jump on the other tractor and go fertilising. So that is my plan. That was loud. It was just a bit of scaffold tube what I put between the link arms to hold them the right distance apart. The screen's having a meltdown. It wants to reboot for some reason. Um, I'll just drag this out and shut the doors. Luckily it's just enough off the ground. Shut the door whilst it's doing its thing. We'll take this back to farm one. See the gates will let us out. It was actually last Monday what I put the fertiliser on that week. It's growing like mad, but it is mild now. I think it's like 16, 17 degrees, so. And plenty of moisture, so it should grow well. Luckily that seems to be a steady horse. Um, 
I also I just remembered that I'm supposed to be publishing a video. So I'll go home and do that now. When <laughs> I get back to the farm, it's going to be a bit late. Alright, that's the video published. I better go back to work now. I'm not sure we'll be able to fit two bags in, so I'll just put one in for now. I know I can definitely fit two tonne of wheat in there, but I'm not sure about this barley. Especially if it's light. I think I would just about fit another bag in. But to be honest, I'm not sure how well the 155 would cope with two ton in there. Might be a bit much for it. Early morning. Just out walking the dogs. There's a mud jack in front. Oh. See him there. This was all underwater a few days ago and it's dried up so quick over the weekend. Watch with it. Boys, come here. Heel. Bruno, heel. Come on. Oh, he's running off. Look. See his white bum. Don't want the dogs chasing that. There's two roe deer out that side, too. Lots of wildlife out this morning. Last one. I'm pretty sure she's, she's definitely lambing. Did you see the bag? That's it, that's not bad. Six weeks and um, a day to them, um, 200 and whatever you use, can't remember, 260. I did calibrate it last night, but um, I didn't video it. <laughs> I'll, I'll video calibrating another time, and you've probably already seen it before anyway. So we got plenty to go out. We got about 500 acres of spring drilling to do. So plenty to do. I doubt all of it will be dry enough this spring. Some of it won't dry out at all. Um, what else was I going to say? Yeah, 500 acres isn't a huge amount, but it's still enough for me to do. <laughs> plenty for me to get on with. And I got fertilising and spraying to do as well. Bonus, the gate's open. Put the four-wheel drive in, I think. We're going to start at the other end. Should have probably cleaned the windows too. Old tractor needs a wash. Looks like the roundup's done a good job. Anyway, there's loads of rye grass up here that are killed off with a roundup. And it was also winter cover crop. Right. I've come up this end of the field because it's a nice bit of short work that we can get the we can get the um, seed depth set right. We'll just run a bit of seed through the spouts just to make sure there's seed coming out. Work. We press that one. Um, yeah, we can see seed coming out. We're going to have a quick check. Looks good to me. We've got seed coming out of the spouts. I think I'll just drive along and um, and put a bit in the ground and then have a look at the seed depth. It's the best way to tell. That's why I've started on this short work here, so I don't go too far um, putting seed too deep in the ground. All right, I'm going to have to remember what to do here. I'm just going to put it in the ground and see what happens. The fan is running. We've set the seed rate to 230 kilos to the hectare. We're drilling Laureate Spring Barley. We've got a four-wheel drive in. Ooh. That made a grunt a bit. That's too deep. We need to shallow that up straight away. See if we can put those front boards down a bit. Should probably put the um, wheel mark eradicators down as well. Pull out the tractor wheel marks. Mm -hmm. 
It's a bit lumpy, but the drill's not making a bad job of it. There's one there, look. The seed only needs to be about three centimetres in the ground. That's about perfect. Let me just try it over here a little bit. Doesn't want to be too deep. There it is down there, look. Yeah, that's probably about four centimetres, but four centimetres isn't too deep, but three centimetres is ideal. We'll have a look on the right side of the drill. There's, there it is, look. It's not in too deep at all. That's probably about three centimetres down there. Right, we're drilling quite nicely. It's making a nice job. Um, we'd really want rolling, to be honest, but I think it's supposed to rain later, so we'll see. Uh, I've only got this one field to do. The landwork on this one 50-acre field to do, so it won't take long. Um, I've come to the conclusion I'm going to put this tractor on the sprayer and put the other one on the drill, because uh, this one, this tractor is really struggling. She's on her knees. We're only doing 8K, and I normally go along about 12K, so... Yeah, she's definitely struggling, but luckily I've only got one field to do. We'll get this done this morning. We've almost run out of our first bag of seed. We're on 930 kilos. Just going to get to the end of the run. We're right by the farm, so I'm going to stop and go and get another bag of seed. Go and see if the JCB is available to load up with seed. Yes, the JCB is in the shed. Happy days. Just got to hope this machine's going to reach. This is why I brought the bag lifter, because it definitely won't reach with the pallet forks. Should just about be fine. It's hard to see, isn't it, with a massive boom in the way. Can't see a thing. Right, let's get back to it. If you're new to the videos and you're wondering what's been out here cultivating, oh, let's see if I can hold this steady. Uh, eight three, John Deere eight three seventy R with this Amazon CS. Five meter CS on the back of it, so it's like a one pass cultivator. It's got discs on the front, then legs, and then a double press on the back. Right, it's just coming up to one o'clock Monday now. Um, I've just finished a second field, it's only a little one. Simon cultivated this this morning. There is a third one that's cultivated, but um, it's pretty wet out there, so we're going to give that some time to to dry off even if it gets wet this afternoon it will dry out again eventually um, yeah so I'll probably go back to the farm get some food and then um, actually I'll go this way Put, I've just got to back the seed in the in the shed on my way past um, yeah I'll probably go and put some fertiliser on some wheat this afternoon I'll probably spend the next couple of days putting fertiliser on and then um, next time I come up here drilling later in the week I shall um, put the drill on the 6215 it's a lot quicker I've just been going along about 8k whereas I should be doing about 12k really alright we're just going out with the 62 we've got the sprayer on the back we're going to go and do some liquid fertiliser on Monday afternoon we go clean the tractor is give it a good wash I can't remember what day it was last week nice and shiny Oh, now I've got to drive through some mud. This is not what I wanted. It was clean. No doubt I'll find some more puddles in a minute. Unbelievable. Hell of a crop of rape out there in the neighbour's field. That looks really good. Quite even. Um, yeah, right, we're on. We're out on the winter barley. This is get, uh, it only gets two doses of fertiliser. 
Um, so yeah, this is its second and final dose. Oh, one of those nozzles isn't working properly, I better have a look at that. Um, what else was I going to say? Yeah, I'm going to do this the same as I've done the week last week. I'll do it in, in reverse so I can cover any little misses that I've got on the ins and outs. Oh, radar's not looking very good. I think it's going to... We did just have a shower rain a minute ago. And it also looks like it's going to rain quite a lot this evening. I'm going to wash this fertiliser in for sure. Wash that seed in the in as well. I put in the ground this morning. All the hares running around. One, two, three, four. Having a great time running around in the fertilizer. Maybe a bit sticky. Last field is absolutely peeing it down. It'll certainly wash the fertilizer in. That's for sure. Won't take long to finish this field and then I'll be on my way home. It is 6.45. The council has put us up a new sign. I think they must think I'm a hazard. Sheep looking fed up. They're like, we just get two days of sunshine and it's rain again. Alright, home time. It's been a long day. At least we've got a couple of jobs done today. Got something productive done. All right, that'll do about there. Tuesday morning, it's a bit grim out. It's windy and it's drizzling. I haven't looked in the rain gauge yet to see what we had yesterday afternoon. There is about three and a half, four mil in there, so not too bad. It's still Tuesday morning. It's pretty miserable out there. It's windy and rainy. Well, it's not really, it's not pouring down with rain. It's just spitting with rain which is ideal conditions really. So we can cover that little mist there. Got it. Like I said before, I'm doing it all in reverse. Starting where I finished off on the first dose and working my way back just so I can cover any little misses on the ins and outs. You can see one there, look. If it does dry up this afternoon um, from this wind and come out nice, I will go and see if I can drill that other field uh, before I take the drill off the 155. Um, just because then it's all drilled up because it's supposed to rain again tomorrow. But we'll just see how the day goes. Got a lake in the corner of this field, look. I just think I'll be, um, yeah, I won't be putting any fertilizer on that. I've not really seen water there before, so not that's hung around. Brilliant crop out here though. This is down on some lighter ground. Really good thick crop. What a mess. I've got that so I'd completely shut off. Oh, this spray and water, muddy water everywhere. Just putting a bit on the left. Right, that's that job completed. Uh, I've just put fertilizer on 70 hectares of wheat at farm one, so. And it's four o'clock, so not too bad. Sheep are enjoying a bit of dry, dry-ish weather. Um, yeah, right. I'm gonna go and get put this in the barn and get the drill out and go and see if I can drill another field, which probably will make it rain. I need to fix the seat in here. It needs a bit of grease on it. It doesn't swivel very well. Right. We're gonna um, just go and drill this field with the 155 make life easier. It'll be a bit slower but it's only one little field. Hopefully as soon as I come out pull the drill out it won't start raining.
we, we got to the bottom of why you may be, like me, struggling to get out of your car when you've parked it, it's because cars have got bigger. The average car is now 12 centimetres wider. We're on a bit of seed through. Oh, the seat. And we're quickly get this field done. It's only like a seven hectare field, so it won't take long. Uh, that. Better turn tram lines off, we don't want them. I'll give it a go. The 155's probably thinking, not again. I don't want to go drilling again. Now it's raining. Let's probably go and uh, shut the seed hopper. I don't think the rain's going to come to anything. It's just spitting and spitting about a bit. This dries off. I think there is a chance of rain, a bit of rain tomorrow. Oh, where's the seed? Um, there's one right there. Um, chance of a bit of rain tomorrow, and then it's dry after that. The forecast is looking up, but. Yeah, we might roll this, we might not. We'll see what happens tomorrow with the rain. There it is. That's fine. There's two bits there. About three centimetres down. Absolutely fine. It's a bit slow, but it's relaxing, I guess. It's a nice evening for it. Luckily, it won't take long. And then I'll be back on liquid fertilizer tomorrow. Right, I'm done already. Didn't take long. Uh, the, the calibration on the seed must be running pretty accurate because I've put five ton through the drill and it's just run out at 4,972 kilos. So that's not a far out at all. Can't complain of that. Anyway, I'm going back to the farm now. I might go and run the tractor and sprayer up to farm two and get picked up. So then in the morning I can just go straight up there in my truck. Because uh, that tractor is going to be up there for a few days, so I might go and do that now. It's ten past six. Simon's out cultivating some more ground. Looks pretty wet out there, but at least it will dry now it's been pulled up. a few days drying. Can't see much with that sunshine shining like that. It's bright, isn't it? I just arrived at farm two with the tractor and sprayer. Ooh. Ready for tomorrow and hopefully my lift will arrive very soon. <laughs> 